Miss Kathy is here. Today we are going to learn about a story that comes out of the book of Luke, Luke chapter 24. Um, but before we do that, I wanted to let you guys know that I miss you. And I was thinking about you. I was thinking about the songs that we sing together. Um, I love singing songs about Jesus with you. I was thinking about one of the songs, Jesus Loves Me. Remember that? Jesus loves me, this I know. And the other song, Jesus loves the little children. And also, oh, how I love Jesus. Or the one walking with Jesus. I love singing songs about Jesus, and I love singing songs with with all of you guys. Now all those songs, they were all about Jesus. Do you know what else is all about Jesus? The Bible. The whole Bible is all about Jesus. And in today's Bible story, we're going to learn about that. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to stop and you guys are going to listen to the story and I will be right back. Hello friends, my name is Megan. And my name is Jessie. Megan, guess who I saw yesterday? Who? My friend Eli. Oh yeah, I remember Eli. He used to live in your neighborhood. You were so sad when he moved away. I was. Where did you see him? On the walking trail at the park. Our family went for a walk, and when we turned the corner, there was Eli's family. How fun! My dad said he almost didn't recognize Eli because he had grown up so much. Oh yeah, that happens. In today's Bible story, some of Jesus' disciples were walking when all of a sudden, Jesus started walking with them. But they did not know it was Jesus. Had Jesus grown up? Nope, they thought Jesus was dead. Listen to the story. On the day Jesus rose from the dead, two of his disciples were walking down the road to a village called Emmaus. They were talking about everything that had happened. As they talked, Jesus came up and began walking with them. Jesus' disciples did not know that the man was Jesus. What are you talking about? Jesus asked. The disciples stopped walking. They looked sad. One of them said, Are you the only person who doesn't know what has happened? The two told him about Jesus. Jesus had said and done many powerful things. The religious leaders had killed him. They had hoped that Jesus was the Messiah God had promised to send. Of course, Jesus already knew everything they were telling him. The disciples explained that some of the women from their group went to Jesus' tomb, but it was empty. They saw angels who told them that Jesus is alive. Don't you believe what the prophets said? Jesus asked. They said this is what had to happen to the Messiah. Then, starting with the words Moses and all the prophets wrote long ago, Jesus helped his disciples understand what God's word taught about himself. Jesus went to the village with the disciples and stayed with them. When they sat around a table to eat, Jesus took bread and thanked God for it. Then he broke the bread into pieces and gave it to them. Then the disciples knew this was Jesus. All of a sudden, Jesus disappeared. The two said to each other, Didn't we feel warm inside when he was talking with us on the road and explaining God's word to us? Jesus' disciples went back to Jerusalem right away. They found the others who had followed Jesus and told them what had happened. Jesus is alive. The whole Bible is about Jesus. All along, God had a plan to send his son to rescue people from sin. No matter what part of the Bible we read, it all points to what Jesus did for us in his living, dying, 
and coming alive again. Jesus, Jesus helped his disciples understand what Moses and all the prophets had written long ago about him. The whole Bible is about Jesus, no matter what part of the Bible we read. It all points to Jesus and what he did for us, for me and for you. When he was alive, when he died, and when he rose again, it all points to Jesus. Isn't that so exciting that the whole entire Bible, from the very beginning to the very end, it all points to Jesus. And it is all true. Remember, I always tell you guys, before we open up the Bible in our teaching and classroom, I always say the Bible is all true. So you guys always remember that. Don't let anybody ever tell you that the Bible isn't true. From the very beginning in Genesis to the very end in Revelation, everything in the Bible is true. It is all true and it all points to Jesus. Let's pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for Jesus. Thank you for the Bible. Help us understand your word and help us turn to your word always. In Jesus' name, Amen.